hello everyone welcome to the class so in this video i am going to explain about achiral aldehyde and achiral e enolate combination in aldol reaction this video is the continuation of previous video in the previous video we have discussed about the achiral aldehyde and achiral z enolate combination in aldol reaction that is psi phase of achiral aldehyde and re phase of z enolate <coughs> which produces syn product major and the second one the re phase of aldehyde with the re phase of z enolate which gives you anti product that means when you take achiral aldehyde treated with z enolate you will get syn product is major because in syn <coughs> that means in the psi phase of aldehyde and re phase of jet enolate you will feel the less steric interactions of the syn 13 dioxyl interactions whereas in this case that means the re phase of achiral aldehyde and the re phase of jet enolate combination has more steric hindrance in the zimmerman traxler transition state so that is why this anti is minor so that means achiral aldehydes and z enolate combination always give you syn major so in this video we are going to discuss about achiral aldehyde and achiral e enolate combinations in aldol reaction so there are totally four possibilities that means re phase of achiral aldehyde can interact with re phase of e enolate re phase of achiral aldehyde can interact with psi phase of enolate and the psi phase of aldehyde can interact with the re phase of e enolate and the psi phase of aldehyde can interact with the psi phase of enolate so now let us discuss about two combinations that is the psi phase of e enolate interaction with the psi phase of aldehyde and another combination is psi phase of enolate e enolate with the re phase of aldehyde let us start with the first combination this is the third possibility where achiral aldehyde psi phase interaction with the achiral e enolate psi phase okay as we know we have an aldehyde okay treat with the uh, e enolate okay this is e enolate 1 2 and 1 2 so it is e enolate okay so now let us consider about phases in this aldehyde and enolate substrates in aldehyde you can feel the top phase is 1 2 3 so top phase is psi phase whereas bottom phase is re phase in enolate the top phase is 1 2 3 <laughs> so top phase is V phase because it is clockwise direction, and the bottom phase is psi phase. Okay, now let us consider about the interaction of psi phase of aldehyde with the psi phase of e enolate. that means the top phase of aldehyde okay interacting with the bottom phase of enolate so that means psi phase of this e enolate is interacting that means from bottom side so this enolate <coughs> is a good substrate for the formation of cc bond okay so now 
this nucleophile is attacking onto this electrophilic carbon which gives you a chain model transition state that is Zimmerman Traxler transition state okay now it is a six member chain type now interaction of this enolate is from bottom side and it is interacting on the top phase of the aldehyde okay now let us draw the six member where consider one two and three four and this five and sixth one is the metal which is coordinate with this both oxygens in chelation form okay now there are two oxygens are coordinating with the metal and then there's a bond formation here and then here you can see you are forming a bond here this methyl in enolate it is sorry this r r which is that means give the numbering here one two or three four or five and this metal gets six so it's a chain type conformation and one is oxygen and second carbon which is having r here and then this third carbon has methyl okay this methyl is in equatorial and this h is axial and this fourth position fourth position this r is in equatorial and this h is in axial okay oxygen is asterisk so this is also losing a bond so you can draw like this this is Zimmerman Traxler transition state now let us consider here one two and three so consider this one two position okay in this one this r one two r the r is in equatorial position and this methyl in the second position also in equatorial so that means in chair cyclic chair conformation the equatorial equatorial position will get always trans so that means these two are in trans and consider this one and three okay one and three diaxial interactions are see this is a small atom and this is big atom so that means there is less sterical repulsions you have so that means this Zimmerman Traxler transition state is favored favored and these two R and methyl are in trans so that you will end up with the anti product majorly so anti is major so when a chiral aldehyde when you treat with a chiral e enolate generally it gives you anti product major okay next go to the th fourth one the fourth one is that means other possibility that is earlier a chiral aldehyde c phase we have discussed now a chiral aldehyde re phase we will discuss now with a chiral e enolate okay which is as it is psi phase okay so this interaction we will discuss now so consider an aldehyde now consider an enolate as you know here the top phase and bottom phase we have to consider so here the top phase where is viewing from top side and it is clockwise so top is getting reface and bottom is 
obviously opposite that is C phase. <coughs> Whereas this lower SP2, okay, lower SP2 is responsible for the formation of CC bond. So we have to consider that SP2 carbon. So that is considered as a phase. So there are two phases, top and bottom. This top one has one, two, three clockwise. So top is rephase and bottom is psi phase. Okay. So now we have given like this notations according to priorities now we know that which phase which phase is rephase and which phase is side phase now what we have to do the nucleophile has to attack on to this electrophilic carbon and this oxygen is stabilized with this that is stabilized by coordination of with this metal atom metal ion so it gets one two and three a four and five a six membered cyclic chair transfer state the transfer state is called Zimmerman Traxler so let us draw this so what happening here here oxygen okay, losing bond And then here there is a bond and this oxygen is called metal and one more oxygen is a bond formation. So consider this one and the two, three and four, five, this metal is six. So here's the second contains R. The third, which is hang methyl as usual, equitable, and H is axial. And in this case, fourth, fourth, the R is present in axial, and H is in equatorial. Now, again, go to one and two. So, one, two, this R is in axial position, whereas this methyl is in equatorial position, right. So 1, 2 in chair conformation, 1, 2 axial and equatorial will get always Cs and consider the 1, 3 diaxial interactions here, you see this is R and this is also R. So that means the steric interaction between these two are high. So sterical repulsions are high. So that means repulsions are high. So this transfer state, this is called Zimmermann Traxler, Traxler transfer state. So this is unfavorable, unfavorable because of sterical repulsions. So here these two R and methyl are in cis syn position. So that means you will get a syn product major. That means but if you consider this achiral aldehyde and achiral enolate combination, always you will get anti is the major. Okay. So in conclusion, in conclusion, what we can say, so generally a chiral aldehyde plus a chiral enolate combination, okay, so a chiral aldehyde, a chiral aldehyde plus Z enolate combination, you will always maximum get syn product major and a chiral aldehyde and E enolate case you will get anti is a major one okay so in a chiral aldehyde that means C phase of a chiral aldehyde and a re phase of Z enolate gives you sin majorly and C phase of a chiral aldehyde and a C phase of this E enolate gives you anti major so this is what about the first combination that is a chiral aldehyde and a chiral enolate combination in asymmetric cardinal reaction so finally you are getting one of the diastereomer is major so that this asymmetric cardinal reaction